Hey guys, I'm Isil and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're taking a look at how to download and install Optifine resource packs and shaders from Minecraft 1.14.4. If you're not sure what Optifine is and what it does, Optifine is an add-on to Minecraft that enables you to see the textures of the world completely different. Like you can see the water here, it looks so realistic. The sky has got proper clouds. You've got the trees that are waving and you've got loads and loads of shadows. You can see the sun here has got these god rays. So this is what Optifine enables you to do with shaders. The texture pack and resource pack that I'm using in the background is one of the most popular questions that I get asked on my videos. What is your resource pack? What is your texture pack? What is the pack you're using? So I'm going to show you what resource pack I'm using. I'm also going to show you what shaders I use. Well, first we need to get Optifine itself and download it. And to find it, you need to go to optifine.net backslash home. You can simply go into Google as well and just type in Optifine and click on Optifine, which should be the first option. You need to then go to downloads and then you need to find out which version of Minecraft you're using. So we're going to download the latest one, which is UF5 and press download. It's going to bring us to an ad site. Do not press on anything on this screen. Please, guys, do not press anything. Just wait up here in the top right hand side until the skip comes up. Press skip and then you're going to get your download file. You can then press the download Optifine here. And on the bottom left, you're going to get a warning that says this type of file can harm your computer. This file from Optifine will not harm your computer. And once that's downloaded, you can just drag it onto your desktop. Because the next thing we need to do is we need to find out where we put this file and we don't double click on it. If you don't have this coffee cup with the steam coming out of it, then that means you don't have Java installed and you need to install Java before we go any further, guys. The next thing we need to do is find out where our mods folder is. There's a couple of ways of finding this, but first off, before we do anything, we need to go to view and you need to make sure that hidden items here is ticked. Make sure that is ticked on. Once that's ticked on, you can go here and type in percentage app data percentage and press enter that will bring you into a roaming folder then click on that minecraft and then go to your mods folder that's one way to find it the other way to find it is going to your pc go into your hard drive go into your users go to your user in this case it's isl tbw then go into your app data file do you see the way that's a little bit grayed out and the other ones are bright yellow that means it's a hidden folder you won't be able to access this if i turn off hidden items see it disappears click so make sure this is switched on guys, app data, then you go to roaming, then you go to dot minecraft and you go for mods here. And once you're in here, you just grab your Optifine file and drop it in. And that's Optifine installed. Once we have this folder open, we're going to jump in and see where we can get resource packs. You can find this on the CurseForge website. It is the Firewolf resource pack. It's the Firewolf HD 3D. It is made by Kitesuit42 and it's available for various different versions of Minecraft 1.15, 14 and 13. If I'm doing this for 1.14.4, I'm going to click over here, click on the download button, wait for the download to start. And we now have resource pack downloaded here on the bottom left. And I'm going to drag this onto my desktop. And we need to go back in here to our Minecraft folder. And then we're going to go into resource packs and I'm going to pop that in there. That is the resource pack installed. Next, we need to go and get our shaders. The best shaders I would recommend are the Silders shaders. You can go to silders-shaders.github.io. Guys, links in the description of this video, as always, for both the shaders, the resource pack, and for Optifine also. You can go to downloads. The most up-to-date ones here are at the top, and you have various different versions. You've got light, medium, high, high motion blur, extreme, and extreme volumetric lighting. I would suggest you go for high. If you don't have a beefy PC, you might have to go with medium or light. I'm going to press on download. Again, we've got an ad focus site here, guys. Do not click on anything. Just wait for the top right hand side for that counter to go down to zero. It will go to skip. And once the skip appears, just only press on skip. Now it's going to bring us to a media fire. And we're going to press download here, the green button. And on the bottom left, we have got Siddler's Vibrant Shaders. I'm again going to drag this onto my desktop. Now, this does not go into our resource packs. We have to go back into our Minecraft folder. I would suggest you start up Minecraft before you do that. And then you're going to have shader packs. And then drop in that one there for shaders version 1.262 high. We now have our resource packs. And we also have our Optifine mod 
in here also. So once we have those, we can just start up Minecraft again. Obviously, with Optifine and as, as it being a mod, you must have Forge installed as well. If you don't have Forge installed, you can check out my video at the end of this video. So first I'm going to install the resource pack. To do that, go into options, go to the resource packs, and I'm going to scroll down and find the one that I'm using. It's a 1.14 Firewolf version 1.81. Click on the play button. It pops it in over here. I'm going to press done. And now I know that it's installed because I can see this customization. So I'm going to go into the world first here. And this was the world I was in earlier on. And the world is loaded up. You can see I've got the resource pack in. And... We don't have the shaders. I do have resource pack, which does have the circular sun. We've got the default clouds and we don't have anything else in here that resembles the shaders, but we do have the resource pack. So you can see the textures are completely different to standard Minecraft. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to show you how to work on the shaders. What you need to do is press escape, go to options, go to video settings. Then you need to click on shaders. You need to pick the one that's just installed. The one that I've just installed is Silver's Vibrant Shaders. And now we have shaders installed. I'm going to press done first before I show you anything in here. Press done and you can see that we've now got the nice water, we've got the nice clouds and we've got that nice bloom. So what does Optifine and what does shaders enable you to do? If you find that your Minecraft is quite choppy, then you can use Optifine to improve the performance of your client by going to video settings, going into performance, and you can turn on and off things over here. So it gives you a lot more control over how your Minecraft performs. So we're gonna have more control in here again with shaders. So I'm gonna turn a few things on and play around with this to show you what you can do. So I'm gonna to go to options, video settings, back into shaders, and now we're going to shader options. We click on this, and this is gonna give us a lot of control over what we can do with the shaders. And what I would suggest, guys, is you play around in here because you've got everything from changing the colors and brightness. You can have your fog on, which is the kind of blur that you see in the background. If I turn that off now, you can see now that the fog has gone. You've got things like bloom. Bloom is when you have a lamp or a torch and you get a glow from it. You can go in and change the color of the water. So I think I can change this to more green. And then let's see what the water looks like once I click on that. And you can see it's turned a kind of a shade of green. So you can play around with it. And if I change it even further, and maybe bring it back down here, and go with blue up here. You can see this kind of really changed the color of the water now. So depending on what you're looking for and whether you're looking for something more natural, something a bit more vibrant, hence the name Silder's Vibrant Shaders. So guys, that is how you download shaders, resource packs, and Optifine from Minecraft 1.14.4. Anyway guys, that's it from me. I'm Isel TPW. I really hope that you found this video useful. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. It would be great guys if you left a like in this video if you did find it useful or if you enjoyed it anyway. It goes towards helping me to become a full-time creator, which is my absolute dream and I hope that you can help me with that. But thank you so much for watching this video anyway guys. would love to hear from you in the comments. Leave a like. It would be great if you hit the subscribe button as well guys and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye.